Shalom. Call Halal Yahawa Bahashem Yahawa Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwath, that'll be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Defeat the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today is going to be entitled, What's Going On? What's Going On? This lesson is all of the spirit, whatever the spirit allowed that would I speak upon to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. But, you got to be asking yourself, what's going on? Because it's so much going on. You got to ask yourself, what's going on? You got to at least do that. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, we know what's going on. Okay? All this crazy stuff you see is going on on the earth. Right? The scriptures tell you that surely the Lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, image 3 and 7. So guess what? We know what's going on. What's going on is prophecy is coming to pass. The scriptures tell you how none shall fail. Look at all these things in the world that's happening, man. All right? Look around you, man. Look what's going on. The scriptures say to measure the time diligently within itself. And when you see some of the signs pass, okay, then know that is the very same time where the, where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, man. The Lord is visiting, man. Okay? Judging the earth, man. All right? Zephaniah 3 and 5 tells you, say, the Lord, uh, 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 the Lord, say, every morning do his, he brings judgment to light, man. Look at all these things that's happening in the earth, man. You see? They had a train, uh, a hazardous train derailment in North Dakota. All of these things, man. Okay? They had a, 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 a shooting in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay? Six people killed. They said the shooter is a female, man. Okay? All this is prophecy because the scripture speaks of in the last days. As a matter of fact, let's get that scripture. The scripture speaks of how in the last days, because iniquity shall abound. What is iniquity? Sin, man. Transgression of the law. Sin upon sin, sin stacked up. And because this is going to come so much, okay, that the love of many are going to wax cold, man. And that word cold, when you go into it, it means psycho. You see? Well, let's get it in the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew, the 24th chapter. This is Matthew chapter 24. And um, verse 12. It says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. You can imagine a female shooter, okay, shooting up a school, an elementary school like that. I think they say three students die and three teachers, if I'm not mistaken, yesterday when I saw it on the news. Okay, another uh, hazardous train derailment, man. Okay. They got, you got, uh, um, uh, storms, man. They said 25 people dead. Okay, in um, Mississippi. Um, Missis, Mississippi. Between Mississippi and Alabama, man. All right? You would tell me that <laughs> the Lord ain't bringing judgment on the earth, man. More than 25 people dead, man. Okay? The Lord is bringing judgment, man. Storms, man. Uh, as a matter of fact, scripture comes to mind Isaiah the 29th chapter Isaiah 29 and uh, where is that uh, Isaiah 29 and 6 it says thou shalt be visited of the Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, fire man you see prophecy is going forth man the earth is being visited, man. Okay? 
All right, the earth speaks of earthquakes in diverse places, man. A couple of weeks back, you had that 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 uh, that that earthquake between what's that? Uh, I believe Turkey and Syria, man. Thousands of people died, man. The scripture speaks about these times, man. When these things are gonna happen, man. Uh, let's get that second Ezra. Second Ezra, the fifth chapter. It says, "Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number." Okay, in great number, man. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. You see? But these things are spoken of that people are going to be taken in great number in these times, man. Okay? 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. Let's grab that. Okay? Because <laughs> what's going on, man? Prophecy is coming forth, man. Okay? And judgment is going out. Um, this is the book of uh, this is the book of Second Timothy chapter three and verse one. Is this? It says, "This now, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come." This word "perilous" when you go into it, it means dangerous, fierce, savage, hard to take, hard to do. You see. So what's going on, man? There's a whole lot going on, man. You got to ask yourself what's going on, man. You see? You got to ask yourself what's going on, man. Another tree in derailment, man. Okay? Not to mention the, 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 the food processing plants that's just, <laughs> I mean, just been on fire from the other day. Okay? These different uh, 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 food processing factories, man plants man just you know up in flames man we've been he hearing all these different stories man okay but at the end of the day man that 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 famine is coming man <laughs> scripture speaks about famine okay famine is coming man okay you got the president of um you got the president of uh kenya telling telling his citizens to 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 <laughs> Get get rid of get rid of the dollar, man. Say in the few coming weeks, things are gonna be different. Okay, so what's going on? You gotta ask yourself what's going on. All of these things happen happening simultaneously, man. Okay, you have nations want to join the BRIC nations, man. Okay, you got war in Ukraine, Russia, and, and, and Ukraine, man. You got you got the conflict, okay, that's going on between uh, uh, China and, and Taiwan, man. And, 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 and come on, man. All right? <laughs> it's a whole lot happening, man. It's a whole lot. As a matter of fact, let's grab that scripture, man. Let's go to um, let's go to the Apocrypha. And let's bring our second answer to the ninth chapter, man. Start at verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Okay, uproars of the people, man. The scripture speaks about that, man. Then shalt thou understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For all, for like, for like, as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. Right, we live in an end times, man. Okay? We live in an end times, man. All of these different nations, man. Okay? These, diff these different nations... They 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 um um uh, they protesting man. Okay, the different um, unrighteous decrees man, that's being pushed forward man. These draconian style laws that's 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 uh beginning to spring forth because we in that time man. <laughs> we in that time man, you see. We in that time where the beast is beginning to show his horns man, you know. So what's going on man? You gotta ask yourself. You gotta at least. Ask yourself what's going on. Clearly, you could see if you got eyes to see and ears to hear. Something ain't right, man. You know, it would behoove you to seek the Lord, man. Okay? For that hedge of protection, man. And truth and in sincerity. For the most high seek it such to worship him in truth and in sincerity, man. In spirit and in truth. 
all right and in spirit and in truth okay so hey <laughs> hey man the scriptures say uh, uh to walk circumspectly man all these stuff going on you are to be circumspect man because guess what uh second corinthians 2 and 11 we are not ignorant of satan's devices man all right we ain't ignorant of satan's devices man okay so knowing that <laughs> This man is all about, the devil is all about traps and snares, man. He's a follower. He's a hunter. Okay? When you go to, um, so this is the reason why you got to be uh, um, circumspect, man. Watching around your surroundings, circumspect. Meaning, circum meaning to look around, man. Okay? Spec meaning to look. Okay? You got to be uh, uh, aware of your surroundings when you go here to, um, let's go to, because um, a lot is happening. Okay, a lot, of, a lot of shaking up in the earth, man. The Lord is bringing these judgments forth. Um, what's that? First Peter, First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Okay, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Right? They try to bring forth their enterprise, man. You see? Of course, they're going to get so far, but they're not going to come to full fruition man all right the most high is gonna smack it down man as i tell you in the book of uh, job the 20th chapter okay it's not it's not it's, you know it says uh when he when he uh while he's eating while he while he's eating man okay the bow of steel shall strike him through roughly paraphrasing job 20 man okay also job the fifth chapter let's grab that because we know at the end of the day the devil is busy but we know the lord at the end of the day is in control of all things man so let's go to job the fifth chapter okay job chapter 5 and verse 12 it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise okay so the lord is going to disappoint them man the scripture speaks about how the lord is going to have them in derision man and when you uh, uh, when you go to psalms the second chapter man why do the heathen rage man okay and the rulers imagine a vain thing Okay, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision, man. So their they're, 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 uh, they're, they're diabolical plans, okay, is not going to come to a, a, a full fruition, man. Yeah, of course, they're going to get through with a, with a lot of uh, evil and wickedness because that's what they were created to do. You see? But at the end of the day, the Lord is in full control, man. They're being used for the Lord's purpose, man. Okay? It says, verse 13, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. You see? So at the end of the day, though the wicked, uh, 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 scriptures say, he, 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 he sleep not, unless he, unless he cause some to fall, man. You see? Okay? But at the end of the day, <laughs> the Lord have it set up so, that this man that that he's going to be deceived the pride of his heart have deceived him man okay when you get obadiah it tells you that you see um let's get it uh this is the book of obadiah chapter one and verse three it says the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee thou that dwellest in the clefts to the rock who's that esau man whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thus, so like a thence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. So the Lord is going to be the one who's going to do it by sending back his only begotten son, Yahweh, who is our Lord and Savior, man, who's coming to deliver the elect and subjugate nations, man. Okay, according to Revelation 11, chapter and the 15 verse, man. Okay, he's going to have crowns upon his head, man. All right? And also, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 23rd verse on down, man. You see? He coming to, 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 to subjugate nations, man, and rule, man. Put down all rule, man. You see? That's what it is, man, and that's what it's going to be, man. All right? Uh, I'm going to get that Job, man, in the, 20, the 20th chapter, man. Okay? This is Job chapter 20. Even though we see all these things going on, the Lord still is in control of all things. This is Job chapter 20. I'm going to start at verse uh, 22. It says, In the fullness of his sufficiency, 
Okay, he shall be in straits. Okay, so all what you see happening right now, okay, as the scriptures say, why do the heathen rage? All of these different nations jockeying for position. At the end of the day, he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. Because at the end of the day, the scriptures tell you that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. We got next. Okay, the Lord's people. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. All right, that's the lay. Those are the laborers, man. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. You see? He shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. That's when he's going to be through. <laughs> you see? So at the end of the day, it's no going around it, man. The Lord, the Lord have it set up in a way where, trust me, man, it's no getting around the prophecies that the Lord have spoken and put, in, and, and put it on paper because they're faithful and true, man. You see? All right? That's what it is, man. And in the meantime, between time, while prophecy is coming forth, judgment is going out in the earth. And I want to get that scripture also in Zephaniah. Let's bring that up before we get ready to close out. Uh, the book of Zephaniah. Okay, this is Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter, uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Look all these judgments that going out, man. Okay? So look around and ask yourself, what's going on, man? Okay? We know what's going on because we know it's prophecy, man. All of this stuff that you've seen is prophecy, man. It's written in the book, man. Uproars of the people, earthquakes in diverse places, wars and rumors of wars. All these things are written in the book, man. Okay, the love of many waxing coal. All these things are written in the book, man. In the last days, perilous times shall come. All of these things that you've seen. Okay, earthquakes in diverse places, storms, shootings, people being put to death. All of these, these are judgments, man. Every morning do we bring his judgment to light. Okay? Ask yourself what's going on, man. What's going on is you must seek the Lord. And if you don't seek the Lord, because the scriptures say, except ye repent, you shall likewise perish, man. Okay? That's what the scriptures say. Let me get that and close out with that. As a matter of fact, uh, because that's the message, man. Repent or you're going to die, man. All right? Uh, it tells you that right here in the book of Luke. Okay, it's Luke, the 13th chapter. This is what our Lord said, man. That's the message. I'll start at verse one. It says, "They they were present at the less at the season. Some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with the sac with their sacrifices. And Yahweh answered, saying unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things. I tell you, nay, meaning no. But except ye repent, ye shall likewise perish. So except you repent." You're going to perish also, man. Verse 4, it says, Or oh, oh, those 18 upon whom the tower of Salam, Saloyam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay, meaning no, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. It says, all likewise perish, except you repent, man. So now it's the time to seek the Lord while you have this great spirit to do so, okay? So, hey, use your great spirit, man, while you have liberty to do so, to seek the Lord, man. Because once the, once the window of opportunity is closed and the famine of the word comes in, okay, and the elect are sealed, okay, I don't want to arm of that precious number, man. I do pray for the brothers, the elders, and the sisters that believe, okay? All right? Once the once once that once the lack are sealed, man, and and this word go from off the street and off the internet, all right, that's it, man. You ain't gonna have that chance to repent anymore, and it's just gonna be judgment, all right. Read uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, beginning from the ninth verse on to the twelfth verse, man. It says it's gonna be those that have lowered the, the most high, uh, uh, that have lowered the most high's uh, uh, words and his laws, man. Roughly paraphrasing it, they're gonna die death by pain, man. Why? Because they didn't take advantage of the great spirit man all right so i'm gonna end it there lord willing you edify on to the next one shalom